Matthew twenty six fifty seven. And they that had laid hold on him, on Jesus, laid him, yeah, laid hold on Jesus, led him away to Caiaphas, the high priest. Now that's, listen, when you look at what Jesus Christ did at the cross, it begins now. Now, unlike the Jehovah Witnesses, I believe Jesus is God, and God is Jesus. And if God wanted to, you don't touch God. He just said, listen, I, I, I can call 12 legions of angels. And they, he is allowing them to tie him up, bind him up, and bring him to Caiaphas, a liar. So the works of salvation begins now. Because if God wanted to show forth his power and his mightiness, there could have been great things going on in Gethsemane that would never happen at Calvary. The high priest, where the scribes and elders were assembled, and the Sanhedrin. But Peter followed him afar off onto the high priest's palace went in, sat with the servants to see the end. The end? What was Peter thinking? This is it. Done. You see, Peter heard the sufferings being turned over to the Gentiles. He's going to be crucified, but Peter didn't hear the three days and he's going to rise again. Peter didn't hear that part. Because every time Jesus spoke about the gospel, who's the greatest Jesus? Who's Now the chief priests, the elders, and the council, the Sanhedrin. This is a kangaroo court. Because we're going to see that this courtroom is in the middle of the night. The witnesses are fixed. Now the chief priests, the elders, and the council sought... False witnesses against you. They sought false witnesses. That's a kangaroo perverted court. They went out. Hey, will you lie about Jesus? Hey, will you lie about Jesus? Hey, will you lie about Jesus? Well, that's not a hall of justice. To put him to death. But found none. Oh. Though many false witnesses came. Now, see the thing is, but they found none. Doesn't mean no, they couldn't bring anybody into the room. They found plenty. But the problem is the false witnesses they brought before the, 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 the council, they couldn't agree with each other. Their stories did not collaborate. Your stories are not going to collaborate if you're a lying council, lying people, lying business, lying house, lying church. And the last came two false witnesses. <clears throat> and they said, this fellow said, Jesus, I'm able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. Go to John chapter 2. These guys are not false witnesses. John chapter 2. 19, I hope. Jesus answered, said to him, destroy this temple, and three days I will raise it up again. There it is. That's what the false witnesses say. Then said the Jews, 40 and 6 years was the temple and building... Wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spank of the temple of his body. He's talking about the death and burial and resurrection of himself. But when Jesus spoke of, the, of his death, burial, and resurrection, Matthew, nobody got it right. 
they're too busy. They, they got other things. They're listening to other things. And your pastor thinks, oh, everybody just enjoyed my message. They're not listening. I got such Hebrew and Greek and, and big, sophisticated, your big, sophisticated Hebrew and Greek words just go right over their heads. They remembered a joke. When I was in Bible school, to get, my instructor told me, he says, be literally your jokes. Because they'll remember the jokes more than they'll remember the message. So he says, you don't be ready to go to work Monday tell them that fabulous joke you told, but they won't be able to tell you what the message was. So the building in three days, as in John, Jesus was talking about himself, not that building. A lot of Baptists got the building more than they got the body. And high priest arose. <laughs> Uh-oh. You talked against the building. No, he didn't. And said unto him, Answers thou nothing? What is it which these witnesses against thee? You mean the liars? Oh, oh you mean these two who have taken the context out of context as many churches do today. I can do all things through Christ with straightening. You see what they did? They took a piece of scripture and, well, well they took what Jesus said out of context. There are Christians going, I can do all things with Christ to straighten me. Uh, out of context. But Jesus held his peace. And the high priest answered and said unto him, Jesus, I adjure thee by the living God, which you don't believe, that thou tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. He's been telling you his entire ministry. Jesus said to him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of power, God, and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What further need ha have we of witnesses? You mean liars. Behold, now we have heard his blasphemy. What's that have to do with Jesus saying, I'm going to destroy this temple in three days and I'm going to raise it up? Because that's important because because when they go to Pilate, what thinking? You know, the charge of blasphemy, is <coughs> Jesus is claimed to be God, the son of God. What thinking? Then the answer and said, He is guilty of, of death for, for proclaiming He is God. Tell that to the Jehovah Witness. This has nothing to do with the with the, the temple. This has to do with the body of Jesus destroying it in three days, rise again. He said he is God in the law. If a man professed to be God, he is guilty of death. Problem? Jesus is God. <clears throat> they just spit in his face and buffeted him. That means they didn't invite him out to dinner. That means they're punching him. They're smacking him. Mother smote him with the palms of their hands. I guess that was Palm Sunday. Same prophet unto us, thou Christ. Who is he that smote thee? Now Peter sat without the power. Well, before we get to Peter, let's do Mark. We'll see, we'll get to Peter. Mark chapter 14. Mark 14, 53. May not get to Peter. We'll see what happens. Mark 14, 53. And they led Jesus away to the high priest, Caiaphas. With him were assembled all the chief priests. All the chief priests. How many were there? Wait a minute, high priest, chief priest. Boy, we going from the law. And the elders and the scribe. Peter followed afar off, even unto the palace of the high priest, and sat with the servants and warmed himself at the fire. 
the chief priests and the council sought for witnesses against Jesus to put him to death and found none. Now here's it. For many very false witness against him. They, you know, they got in the courtroom, they got to testify, but they couldn't find no witnesses that the court could use to condemn Jesus. They all have different stories. Because their witness agreed not together. There arose certain and bear false witness against him, saying, We heard him say, all right, Matthew says too, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands. What did John say? You lied about made with hands. That's not what Jesus said. I will destroy this temple, yes. That is made of hands, no. The Jews said that, not Jesus. Go, you go back on your time to John chapter 1. Within three days, I will build another. No. Made without hands. But neither so did the witnesses agree to get. They, they got a problem with the witnesses. The judge should have thrown the case out the window. And let Jesus walk through the back door. And the high priest stood up amiss and asked Jesus, saying, Answer thou nothing? Why would he have to answer? There's nothing that Jesus has to say, because what is it which these witness against thee? You're a bunch of liars. That's what Jesus would have said. But he held his peace and answered nothing. He didn't have to. Again, the high priest asked him, he said, I had Art thou the Christ, the Son of the Blessed God? Jesus said, I am. Oh, oh, that's the problem. <clears throat> I am is the problem. Jesus never said he was God. What do you answer us? I am. Ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, God coming with in clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes and said, What need we any further witnesses? You know what got him angry was the I am. You have heard the blasphemy, which now remember that I am. He's blasphemy. He says he's God, Jehovah Witness. Well, think he. They all condemned him to be guilty of death. That's the law. Problem is, that is God. Some began to spit on him. And to cover his face and buffet him. And say unto him, prophesy. And the servants did strike him with the bomb. So what they're doing is they covered his face and they're punching the daylights out. Okay, Jesus, who did that? And they're punching it. Who did that one? And he's not saying a word. So the blood has begun before the Sanhedrin. God's blood is being spilt out right now with the fist and the beard being pulled. <clears throat> so back to Matthew 26. Verse 69. Now Peter sat without the, pal the palace. He, he, he's in the palace. And we already saw in Mark, he's warm in his hands. It must be cold. And the damsel came unto him, a, a girl, saying, Thou also was with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied before them. Saying, I know not what thou sayest, liar. But Jesus said, you're going to deny me. 
And he was going out to the porch, so he gets out of the way and moves to another area. Another maid saw him, a girl, woman, said unto them that were there, this fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. Knows the gallery, knows the Nazareth. There's no denying who we're talking about. Again, he denied with an oath, saying, I do not know the man. You know, the man knows, you know, he's trying to get himself completely away from Jesus. And after a while came unto him they that stood by and said to Peter, Surely thou art one of them, for thy speech be real with thee. And what it is, it's like in America, if you go down south, they're going to recognize your New England accent. If you got somebody that comes from California to New England, like I had cousins from California, you. Their accent is not New England. Boston has a whole different accent. And there's many jokes in New England about how people in Massachusetts, especially Boston, speak. The South has accent. So what they're saying is, Peter, you're from Galilee. You sound Galilean. You don't sound Judean. He began to curse and swear. Oh, nice going, Peter. He's lying. And now he's got to the point he's cursing and swearing. Saying, I know not the man. And immediately, the, the Baptist church has fried chicken. You ever wonder why the Baptists got fried chicken? They're trying to get back at the chicken that crude, that cock crude. Cock a doody doo on Peter too. We've been getting trying to revenge on that cock. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went away whipped a wheat bitterly. So quite interesting Mark 14 we're going to look at the scriptures we're going to study the scriptures we're King James Bible believing churches and the church is so quick let's hurry up and close our books and go have fun I don't know I was in one church and every time we close okay we go to the chicken place I'm like your chicken place is closed 1466 of Mark. And Peter, beneath in the palace, there cometh one of the maids of the high priest. Uh oh, that makes it even worse. That damsel, she worked for the high priest. So, in other words, she could go up to the high priest and say, Hey, one of the guys is outside. You get that? She could rat on him. And when she saw Peter warming himself, oh, nice going, Peter. She looked upon him and said, and she's, and thou also was with Jesus of Nazareth. But he did not say, and I know not, neither understand what thou sayest. You see that accent? I don't understand what you're saying. And he walked out of the porch and the cock crew. Uh-oh. And the maid saw him again. He said, well, Matthew said that it was a... You could get him confused. You, haven't you got somebody confused? I do it all the time. And the maid saw him again and began to say to them, oh, okay, she's not there with him. That stood by. This is one. So the maid is talking to everybody. And you could have had another woman come out of the crowd and say, hey, but we're not recording those words. We're recording that she's talking to others and he denied it again. Maybe another woman said it to him. And Mark didn't get it. Remember, now you got two people talking. A police officer will tell you if there's a motor vehicle accident, he's got six different people that saw it. He's got different, six different stories. Listen, I used to work for a tow truck driver, and I used to work 
for the for the newspaper. You you wouldn't believe how many people do not know the color of their car. You get it's a it's a red. And you get there, uh, that's blue. So, lo after they stood by, said again to Peter, "Surely thou art one of them, for thou art a Galilean. Thy speech agreed to there. You know, you got the Galilean speech." But he began to curse and swear. Okay, we got that down. I know not this man to whom you speak. Second time the cock crew. And Peter called to mind the word of Jesus, said to me, before the cock crow twice, thou shalt deny me thrice, three, three times. See the Bible, if you're a college student of the Bible, instead of paying for it, stupid statues of the disciples, why don't you just read your Bible? Because then again, maybe your modern Bible doesn't say thrice. When he had thought thereon, he wept. Okay. Poor Peter. Luke 22. Luke 22. Luke 22. 55. Well, here's more about Peter in his denial than the birthday of Jesus. And when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the hall and were sat down together, Peter sat down among them. But a certain maid, certain, why certain? She works for the high priest. So you see the Bible says when it says certain, it's an individual one party. You know, when Jesus said there was a certain man, yeah, there's, there's a man. God, Jesus has his, his in his head, but he's not telling you who he is. Beheld him as he sat by the fire and earnestly looked upon him. And she's staring at him like, don't you hate when somebody does that to you? You know, you may not be, you know they're doing it to you. And then you start getting, Peter started to get antsy because he, <laughs> this man was also with him, Jesus. And then I said, woman, I know him not. After a little while, another saw him. Let's see, there's the other, another. Thou also of them. Them. You were the disciple. This woman goes, you're one of the disciples. Peter said, man, man, look at man. I am not. Now we use the, man, what's going on? Man, what's happening? Bible. About the space of an one hour. Luke says one hour. Another confirmly affirm a surety with a without a doubt of, of a truth. This fellow also was with him, for he's a Galilean. <clears throat> and Peter said, Man, I know not what thou sayest. Immediately. While he expected the cock crew, the cock crew, and the Lord turned. So Peter and Jesus are within eye shots of each other. The Lord turned and looked upon Peter, and Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter went out and went back. This is why he's not at the cross. John 18. And you wonder where he went. 15. Simon Peter followed Jesus. And so did another disciple. That disciple known of the high priest. Oh. And went in with Jesus unto the palace of the high priest. So they both followed Jesus. But Peter stood without the door. So Peter stops. Then went out the other disciple. So this other disciple goes in with Jesus. And then comes out. Which was known unto the high priest. So this disciple knows the high priest. And the high priest knows him. And spake unto him 
Oh, excuse me. Thank unto her that kept the door and brought in Peter. So, the, so this disciple goes out, goes in, comes out, speaks to the damsel. This is Peter. Then said the damsel that kept the door unto Peter. Now, this is the damsel that's known by the high priest. There she is. She's at the door. Are not thou one of the men's disciples? We saw that in Luke. Aren't thou one of the uh, one of them? He said, "I am not." I can imagine that disciple standing in there, like, "What? <laughs> what?" And the servants and the officers stood there, who had made a fire of coals, for it was cold. And they warmed themselves, and Peter stood with them and warmed himself. <laughs> So, verse number 25. Simon Peter stood and warmed himself. They said therefore unto him, Art not thou also of his disciples? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest being a kinsman whose ear Peter cut off. Oh, we're really getting into now. Did not I see thee in the garden with him? So there's not only women saying, Peter, aren't thou? There's also the soldiers standing at the fire. And one of them says, wait a minute. He could have been talking. Hey, you know, did you hear about my uncle? And I forgot what his name was. He, he goes to this, this garden to get this Jesus. One of them nerds, one, you believe one of them guys took a sword and off his ear? Hey! Wasn't that you? Malchus, I think his name was. <laughs> now, now, now Peter's in big trouble. He's got all these soldiers around the fire. Is it you that took, I don't know if it was uncle or not. Is it you that chops off my uncle's ear? <laughs> not to mention that Jesus somehow fixed the ear. Did not I see thee in the garden with him? All right, maybe you weren't the one with the sword, but. Now, didn't I see you in the garden with him? That garden was dark. Judas had to go up and kiss them to tell them who they were. How's the only way this man is going to recognize, G uh, recognize Peter? His flame of his torch lit up Peter's face. Peter then denied again immediately the cock crew. Peter's in real trouble. So is any liar. So one thing to, to, to look at is when you take something out of the script, and I, there's somebody, I mean, they go out, they do what they're supposed to, they're preaching the gospel, and, she'll, and they'll say, well, you know, liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Peter's not going to the lake of fire, and he lied three times. Peter confesses later in John. The Bible says if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unright. Listen, if you lie, you confess it. But you still, if you, if you lie, the lie, the wood, hay, stubble burns in the fire, not you. What about somebody that cusses and, and, and look at Peter. By the way, that disciple... It's John. It's the it's the disciple, the apostle John, that knew the high priest. 